Hello, MacWarriors! How's it going? And welcome to another episode of MacWarrior 5 Mercenaries. I am going to play some high-tier missions with you today. I, I really hope that we can find some. But for that, we need to rebuild some of our mechs to, you know, get the best value out of them. Let's go ahead and take a look at the star map. Currently, we have ooh, 25 million sea bills. Also, what, what's going on here? What, what's that planet? That, that is a bug. That is certainly a bug. Okay, cool. So, we need to go core wards because I I think the high tier missions are around Terra. So, we're gonna go there and we need some kind of industrial hub to actually build and repair our mechs. I have um, some ideas already. One of them revolves around rebuilding the Kaiju as it was before. I mean, I said it. The plasma, the heavy plasma, was a test. It was not good. I knew it. And uh, we're gonna bring back the PPCs. So... Uh, that being said, uh, I also want to get stealth and a C3 leopard on my main mechs. So we'll, um, yeah, we'll check them out as well. There's a mech saber, a beautiful thing that we cannot put on any mech right now. It's not really possible. Clan medium laser? Like regular? Why not ER? Like that's weird. That is so weird. Okay, there's hyperplasma, alright. Hear me out. We've seen heavy plasma. What is hyperplasma? Um, it's not good, I guess. I guess it deals a lot of heat damage. Or is it the heat buildup? Oh man, I can never, um, I can never distinguish those. Uh, There's only four slots as well. You know what? I'm gonna buy them. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, uh, we have to test this at the very least. Thunderbolt 10 is there as well. Agility Gyro. We have no Royal. Um, Royal Jump Jets, sadly. Uh, countermeasures, Ballistic stuff, yada, yada, yada. Sure, I don't need ammo. I need, like, speedy legs. We don't have them. All right. So, guys, here we go. I said it. I'm gonna bring back the Kaiju's build. That is the, the good old triple quad six... PPC, ER PPC thing. We're gonna take those. Five of them. Alright, and then we have one more. Which actually has inferior DPS. I mean, damage per second doesn't really matter that much. But alright, well, okay, we're gonna get one of those here. So, um, drop the SRMs, we don't need them. Drop the plasma charges, we don't need them. What we do need, however, is a little bit more cooling now so we gotta bring back the i'd say the pirate heat banks those were really good Alrighty, alrighty. click that repair all button beautiful let me see uh what we don't have is armor here huh okay so that's awkward we are at a at a fraction of a tonnage here but anyway we got two more tons uh, actually, three more tons. Which we will invest into. I don't know. Do we have an exchanger? We do have an exchanger. Oh, boy. Uh, put it in here. There we go. That's beautiful. And then clan double heat sink one. And I'd say clan double heat sink two. All right. Advanced PPC fire control system. Power sensors. I don't care because I got my leopard link. I got my stealth suite. And we are at 100 tons. Yes, that's all right. So let's start the work. Again, I know we, we invest back and forth a lot. I don't care. So the other one that I want to run is actually the carapace problem here. That thing has too little ammo for the things it wants to do. And it also doesn't have a leopard C3 link and it doesn't have a stealth suit suite. Uh, so we're going to start with the stealth thing. ECM already installed is what they say. All right. Put that thing in there. Beautiful. It's very heavy, um, but that's all right. Oh, wait, you are running cooling jackets. Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting. We might want to put them on the... Ah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do now, and it hurts me a lot, is I'm going to drop this. Ugh. <laughs> I mean, I want to be protected. So let's drop the probe as well. We need more ultra auto cannon ammo. That's what we need. At the very least, two more bins if we want to sustain ourselves. Do I drop another LRM 15? Yeah, I do it. And I drop a double bin of ammo as well. Oh, this is this is bad. 
<laughs> our DPS is going down. But it's okay. Um, it's all about longevity. It's all about sustain here. Ooh, another thing that we don't have is the Leopard Link. Right? So that's a little heavy. Got that going now. Do we even need the cooling jacket? I don't think so. No, this is totally fine. And you know what? If we have cooling lines lying around, which we certainly have, we can drop these heat sinks and get those in here. Invalid mech part. Why? We could put these in the engine on the other mech. Oh wait, it's from the wrong, it's from the wrong uh, mod here. So the clan invasion ones we can put in the mech. So yeah, now we are overcooling, like, big time. Do we even need them? That's my question here. Do we even need them? They are pretty heavy. Maybe it's fine if we just go double heatsink in the engine. Just like that. I mean, 2.4 is not the greatest, but let's be real. This guy is not really that endangered of overheating. So here's what we do, we put another double heat sink here, and I just hope that we have enough sustain now in form of ammunition and and everything. This should be good. Oh, by the way, armor. Armors. We don't have enough free slots for Pharaoh Clan. Alrighty then. Uh, cockpit standard. Small advance would take uh, our shielding away, but you know what? That's alright. We can squeeze another ton into this mech. And put the leopard link here. That's beautiful. We don't need shielding if we are never getting hit, right? I uh, could put a ton of ammo in here. And actually, I think this is how we're gonna split. Yeah, totally. And now we have another... I'd say slot for a double heat sink On the arm. That's gonna be our build. And I think being one weapon... Uh, one heat per second under our weapon heat is good. That is fine. We totally made the mech better. Um, double XL, that's okay. Uh, I wonder if you want a supercharger on this guy. But then we had to drop the double XL because it takes center torso slots away. Na, 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 na. Wait, if we do that. One second, hold up. We can uh, go Clan Pharaoh. Aha! Yes, that's better. It opens up uh, mobility, agility, gyro. I give it agility, I guess. Okay. And then uh, we can put an improved supercharger on the mag, so it's getting ridiculously fast. And, mind, we could drop a little bit of our leg armor. Again, we are not really getting hit that hard that often, right? And that means... We're totally fine dropping it down to something like 70-ish. Is it 69? I think I guess the number is 69. Hell yeah. Ah, not quite. Okay. Um, take a little bit of center torso away. Uh yeah, let's take the center torso from the front. Then opens up another ton, and that ton is gonna be... It's either more ammo or it's more cooling. I think I'm gonna go with more cooling, so in case we are dropping on a hot planet, we are... Okay. We don't have enough slots anymore. We had to go with a clan double heat sink. Then it would work. I could do it. Okay, drop those. I mean, it's a lot of investment right now, but I think it's gonna be worth it. So, double heat sink clan. A one, a two, a three, a four. All right, five. Do we squeeze another ton out of that? Because now we have an actual very, very nice uh, symmetrical build. And I wanna keep it that way. <laughs> I know, I'm the worst. Let's go ahead and drop more, more armor from the legs. We still have more than 60. If we do this, right? Game is a bit laggy. Alright. I'm trying my best to click all the buttons here. Ah, uh, 53. 51. So now we have... Still... Still enough. <laughs> These fractions, I hate them. So, what if we do this? 
Yeah, we are slightly over, so we have to take another one from the center. Uh, or actually, drop him from the legs. Add him up on the center, so we're maxed out there again. And now we have... Okay, so we have 59 armor on the legs. Still good enough. That, my friends, is a build that has longevity. All right, we're going to start the work. It's great. All righty then, here we go. So the next one that I want to upgrade is the Stone Rhino. Because that thing is just good. It has decent DPS. It's really good for headshotting. Um, we do have the jump jets here. We do have Harshal. Again, Harshal is not needed if we are never getting hit. Or very, very uh, rarely. Turret mount is imperative here. Harshal can go. All right, let's go for... Uh, stealth? Suit? Sweet? What about the slick? I mean, this is all about evasion. Could probably keep that, actually. Huh. All right, I gotta think about it. So, gyro mobility. You have no speedy legs, baby. You probably want them. Let's see how we can make this happen. Uh, by the way, do we have double bins? Yes, we always use double bins. Um, instead of single bins. Nothing here, okay. Uh, so, but now we are over tonnage. How do we drop the tonnage again? Oh, and I don't have my, my leopard link yet. Let's get the leopard link in there as well. I want to have it on everybody. Okay, so leopard is in there. Oh boy. So, the targeting computer is a thing that I kind of want to keep. Actually, with the speedy legs, I can drop this to a 300 rated engine. Saves us a lot of tonnage. But still increases our speed. So that's all right. And I don't know if I want the evasion support and a slick suite. Maybe I could go small advanced cockpit. Oh, I don't have an advanced one. Yeah. And we're going to keep this for the moment. The jump jets, are they needed? Not necessarily. That's six tons that we could convert into ammunition, basically. They're good, don't get me wrong. But I feel like... Wait. Um, I feel like we don't necessarily need it. And I need ammo for sustain. That's important here. Put that in here and that in there. Okay. I want to keep the ammo. Worst case scenario is we would run out of ammo because it's getting destroyed. Because the arm is squishier than the side torsos. And the other question is, are we adding a supercharger or anything like that? have an improved one. I think running fast as a pack is better than having upward mobility. Alright. Ah, spall liner would be fan freaking tastic by the way. Barrel Armella gives us an armor modifier. But we need more slots to run it. So, what's the deal here? I want this to be a bit better protected, so upper hardened might be a good idea, so we take 10% less damage there. It's just for protecting the, the amazing targeting computer. Alright. So. Turret mounts are there. Gauss rifles are the best ones we got. Right? And Gauss. Let me see. Um, actually, I'm gonna do it like this. Come on. Uh, what happened? One second. I wanna put the Gauss in there. I wanna see if it's adding damage. It actually does. I mean, in that case, let's go ahead and deal even more damage? That sounds fun. Cool. So, advanced ballistic, power sensor, not really needed, but okay. Um, yeah, so two and a half tons. Um, let's make it like three tons. You know what we're gonna be doing? I put more ammo in the mech. Because I want to never run out of it. These missions that we are going to play are extremely, extremely long. Oh, wait. We need, like, regular Gauss ammo now for this? Alright. But yeah, these, uh, these missions are really long. And we need to be prepared. Especially on a, on a build that is... Um, that is dependent on ammo. Okay. So, double beam. One, two, three, four, 
Five. Six. Are we overdoing it? Probably. Do I care? No. Not at all. So, that's gonna be the build, guys. Keep it up. Beautiful. Okay, and then the last guy that we are taking a look at is our friend, the Mauler. Yes, 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 yes. I need... Ooh. Oh, we got some, some LRM ATM ammo plus two. That's definitely a thing that I want to add here. Um, Active probe. Do we need the active probe? 250 meters less? Put that in there. Supercharger is already here. Standard engine 400. We don't care about weight. This is a... Cheater mech. It's a crazy pirate mech that we got our hands onto. Alright, mark it. Oh, baby! <laughs> yes! Alright, so screw the double bins. We are going for all of these. Yes, fill it up, baby. Just fill it up. Beautiful. Uh, royalty jump jets. One second. We want to split them up. Okay, not, eno not enough free slots. I still want to... Hmm. I don't want to use any regular LRM ammo if I can avoid it. Always want to be shooting the good stuff. Alright, we're going to take these. <laughs> Let's go! There we go, guys. We have just bonus damage ammunition now. They're heavier. The bins actually weigh four tons because they deal more damage per missile. Cool. So, anything else we want to do here? I don't think so. I think we are ready to go because we got the stealth suit suite here. We have a supercharger. We have the leopard link. It is looking all right. Ooh, we could, instead of the upper arm mod, we could actually take the cooling... Wait, cooling jacket has only an effect on arm-mounted weapons. Nah, it's fine. Okay, queue it up. These guys are going to be our four mechs that we are trying to take into, uh, like, an endgame mission now. Um, let me go ahead and go here real quick, because I want to see if I can find more ammunition. The tier 3 one, or the plus 3 one. And then we are going to try to find a mission. As a cataphract. There's also the Lich, which we already have. Yeah, I'm gonna say no to all of that. Still got 13 mil, beautiful. CM50 ammo. Whatever that is. We'll figure it out. Okay, so LRM ATM plus three. That's what we need. Don't have it. Okay. So guys, let's try to figure out where to go. This is one of these stronghold defense missions. That's pretty cool. What I'm actually looking for is endgame. Duel against clans. I mean, I gotta play it. I gotta play it. And then we go. Let's have some action here. <laughs> oh, exploration as well. Not bad. Mm. Means we can find more pirate mechs. Alright, we're gonna check out this planet. A resource mission. Beautiful. So, we will play the duel first. Get all the salvage since we are playing against the Clanners. And by the way, because yes, the I am way, very well aware that there is a new Mech 5 title coming out commander. next year. Stand and the Clan stage. invasion is gonna happen. And as I told you, I was saying it uh, a bunch, bunch of times. Um, that is what made the most sense for PGI as a business. I mean, everybody was crying out loud for a DLC that revolves around the clans, but the clan invasion is too big of a topic that could be uh, covered by a DLC, and of course it would make sense to push a new full-fledged title out there to actually um, cater towards that need that we need to tell a big story there. And... It makes sense business-wise. You know, there's a there's a full price title for PGI. And I'm not saying that, you know, this is a money grab, but it just makes sense for both worlds, right? So, the Clan Invasion. Coming next year, 2024. And I'm very excited about it. And yes, I'll totally, I will cover it. I have so many questions that, that ask me that, first, did I see it? And second, uh, will I play it? 
I feel like I have the... Is it, is it true? I don't know. Maybe I have the, the biggest mech warrior and Battletech um, content channel in the YouTube world. I don't know. Could be. Um, of course I will do it. So, task is win the duel. It's good to be on the PPCs again, man. Those plasma cannons were just garbo. Alrighty, here we go. And the Leopard Link tells us that we got a Warhammer 2C. Alright, we got an Annihilator. The opposition called friends, and I'm actually happy about it. Annihilator 2C, huh? Evan Jaguar. Seems like they got two Warhammers, if I see that correctly. Oh wait, there's a Marauder. There is a Marauder 2C as well. Yeah, cool. Jaguar again, Marauder again. Let's go fast. And look at that. My people are using their superchargers to follow me. Let's go Heat Vision. I'm actually subconsciously pressing the, the spacebar to jump. It kind of feels like this mech should be able to. Oh wait, we got friends as well? Alright. Let's go fast. Sorry for the bobbing. Oh, we didn't kill. Uh-huh. Was that a headshot? Was that the reaction to me randomly hitting the cockpit of an enemy? Enemies are pushing us on the left flank. All the trees. Uh, they gotta go. So Jaguar is closing in. Let's try to find his cockpit. Nah, not quite. Alright. God, these PPCs kick. Blemo Annihilator. We get him? I, I don't think so. No, we're still getting shot. Hey, Annie. Are you okay? I don't think he's okay anymore. Alright, we did it. Easy peasy. We took some damage, but I think it is alright with all of our stealthy stuff that we have to, you know, just get scratched a little bit. Again, these, uh, these endgame missions are definitely longer than that. And we will get more damage on our max. Okay. That being said, let's go ahead and play the next one right after that. I think I'm not gonna even repair. Hyper Assault, we could. I don't just... I just don't feel like it. Uh, Mad Cat Mark II? Mm, LBX Clustering Enhancement? I think I'm gonna say no to it. Annihilator. Ultra Auto Cannon Enhancement. I mean, that sounds fun. Marauder B. We have some Marauder parts already. Warhammer. Hyper Gauss. Yeah, man, the items are not that interesting, so we're gonna go with mech parts. I'll take two any parts, as well as a medium pulse. Nah. Nah, this is, this is difficult. Alright. We'll take the pulse, and we'll take... I don't know, two bins of Hyper Gauss ammo. It doesn't matter. Let's keep going. Let's not waste our time with unnecessary decisions. Alright, I hit the repair button, actually. Because I can. Uh, and we're gonna play the uh, exploration mission. Let's see what we can find here. Okay. We still have four negotiation points. How does that work? I mean, okay, so this is awkward. We the kind of overcharged really it, but let's see. Will be limited out there. Ah, yes. Ah, yeah, uh, another thing that we want to try to find is uh, still is royal jump jets or clan jump jets. So that our Morla can fly a bit better. I think it has three jump hard points. 
And currently we have filled two with Royal Jump Jets. Uh, it could be better. It certainly could be better. You know what? I'm gonna try... Not I'm gonna try. I'm gonna definitely take the Mauler for this mission. Because it's actually quite mobile. It also has, like, vertical mobility. So it should be easy to get into the zone, capture all the things, destroy our enemies, while our friends are defending the dropship. Let's go. Come on, game. You can do it. Game is a bit slower lately. I don't know. It's because of the of the biomes being like bigger and more intricate with more like lighting effects and stuff. Or just because the map is actually rather big and a lot of models have to be loaded. I don't know. We are on the battlefield. And we're ready to go. It's, it's dark. All right. Whoop. Salvage Ops lead reporting. We have completed preliminary recon and marked uh, the areas of interest. How do we get to our dropship? The locals here won't be happy. Uh, okay, I'm going to do a thing. Anyway. Which is using the Mauler to get up here. Out. Come on, buddy. Yes, good. So now I can send the get to position order and I don't care what my people are doing at this point. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go. Okay, we're gonna use our indirect stuff. And we got a kill. Harasser. Oh boy. These poor little guys. Yeah. It's a lot of damage that we do. Cannot wait to get into these endgame missions, honestly. Alright. So, we're gonna go to Nav Point Gamma first. And then we're gonna go for... Epsilon, Beta, Alpha, Delta or something. Okay. First salvage. I'm still curious to see what we can find here. Our enemies. Just a light mech. What's that? Battle armor? It's not even a mech. Where's the little guy? Show yourself, come on. You're dead. <laughs> Alright, took a little longer here. Let's go, uh, uh, yeah, we have to destroy these. Okay. What's that? Another harasser. Rapid LRM. Should be good enough. Get that. Um, these turrets prevent us from scanning right now, so we gotta actually take them down. We shouldn't be worried about our ammunition whatsoever. At this point, we're good. Flyer? Got him. So, scanning process should start now, actually. And it does. Alright. So as long as any enemy is within the blue circle, it wouldn't start. Alright. We found some tier 3 weapons. I don't really care. That is a battle master. Yep. Oh wait, they are attacking my squad? I have to intercept that. I'm not entirely sure if they can survive that. Since one of our guys is also alone. I know my missiles wouldn't connect. But maybe the guy decides to come towards me. 1200 meters. Argus. Man, this guy is like super fast. Uh oh. So we are in range now. Buddy, come to me. Maybe our friends have no problem whatsoever. Ha! All right, all right, I'll take it back. I don't need to help them at all. At all. On the crab. Crab down. Flashman. 
flash man down. Is this better to see? Is this better to consume? I think it is. Alrighty then. So, what do we have here? That is another battle armor. Uh oh, relock, relock. Ah, we got him. Good. Good. Uh, we got more battle armor here. This is so fantastic. Cool. So, scanning, scanning, scanning. Uh, where's the thing? All right, here. Scanning stopped because there's a tank on my tail. Get out of here. Okie dokie. Hey, I can shoot this. Hornia Toad. The hell are you? I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. Yeah, my, my friends can't handle themselves, I think. It's gonna be alright. Okay, let's go to Alpha then. Missiles. Blam. Somebody is stealthed here. Oh, I gotta use my own eyes, huh? Alright. Who's the guy? Where is he? Why does he exist? It's not the guy that we're looking for, but it's a guy that we can shoot anyway. Okay. On the Owens. Owens down. Beautiful. So, I could look for the guy who is stealthy, who is scrambling my sensors. I should. Let's go to Delta. He might actually be there. Some of these guys have a very long disruption range. God, these missions are so fun. Alright, here we go. Large laser Jenna. Jenna down. We found some sea builds so far. An SRM-6, Artemis 4, level 3. Some weapons. Alright. So after this, we have one more spot to go to. Doesn't work. Right, we go for the other one. On the Scorpion. So, absolutely north. And that's gonna be the last one. And then we can just jump to another one and evac. Which is kind of like a cheesy way to get there. I feel like you actually have to have all of your units in the evac zone to actually evac. That would make more sense. But I can... I can see it from the perspective of, perspective of a game designer saying that would be too hard sometimes. So it's fine if you have one unit in there. But again, it's, it's a bit cheesy. Okay. Cargo acquired, some SRMs. They don't matter anymore. We need a mod that allows us to find all the items, not the vanilla ones. But also the, the more interesting ones introduced by the mods. Good night, little prince. Sleep well. Yeah, we still have 4,000 missiles. Looking good. This build is totally ready for the late game. And if we only shoot those weapons, we don't even have any problems. Adding the LRMs on top. Yeah, a little bit. So anybody tries to intercept us now? No? Because if so, I would totally seek the fight. Totally. Yeah, I don't see any dropship. I guess we're fine, guys. Let's a go. Ariana, 
We're coming home, and we bring some goodies. Ah, oh, beautiful. So that was a battle master, huh? Um, a pirate battle master on top of that. So that sounds interesting. Let's take a look at that thing. We might want to also build something with that. But like, where is the challenge then? I, I know, we are, like, we are in the like super late game at the moment. There will be a new playthrough. There's a new Memoria 5 DLC coming in six days anyway. So we have to restart. Uh, and that's gonna happen. But that doesn't mean that we cannot have some fun in the late game here. So this is the Hornier Toad, 90 ton pirate mech hero. We can take two parts of it. Hmm. <coughs> Sorry. I honestly don't know if that is a viable pick right now. PPI Battlemaster, that thing can be overloaded. Has some very good hardpoint options. I'd rather take three parts of those. Marauder, nah. Probe, no. Argus. King Crab. Flashman. Fire control system, ballistic. Pirate double heat sinks. They are pretty good. They are actually pretty good. They are better than a clan heat sink. Weird. I'll take him. Oh, heat bag mini. And a lot of them. Oh, they're, they're so damn good. Uh, actually, that, that leads me to think that I should drop the heat sink and just take more mini heat bags. They give you a good chunk of heat capacity for very little tonnage. I mean, at some point you will run out of slots. But still, it's pretty cool. Okay. I think that is going to be my pick. Alright, so we are halfway through to getting another pirate assault mech. Which is actually quite a fun idea here, a fun thought. But guys, that has been it for today. Next time, we are ready to actually play these super endgame missions. I hope that we can get there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.